this is the schneider meter that we are trying to communicate to using modbus so we'll be trying out a few different methods through which we want to get data out of this schneider smart meter so the meter in your picture is basically an em6436 conserve model currently it is uh, kind of obsolete but uh, still uh, the basic idea on how to configure this and get data out of the meter remains the same so once you have such a meter there are few things that we want to see so basically regarding the communication aspect so what we will do is we will see what is the current configuration of the smart meter in terms of communication so we will have to kind of check okay the configurations for communication aspects basically the baud rate the parity bit and all so if we see these are the electrical part we'll kind of switch or move on to the communication part so you can see the baud rate is basically currently set at 9600 parity is even uh, id basically the slave id for the uh, mode bus is 2 and these are the other things basically the important thing that we want is these two these parameters that is the board rate the id and the parity right so the meter in the picture basically is kind of with an id 2 but for the experiment or for the demonstration i'll be reading uh, with a meter that has an id 1 setup that you are seeing now is basically a node MCU that is ESP8266 and a RS485 to TATL converter and the two wires that you are seeing here one the black and the blue is basically coming from the Schneider meter that we have seen EM6436 series so what we are trying to do is fetch the smart meter data using this ESP8266 This is the code that we have used for communicating uh, from ESP8266 with the Schneider meter EM6436. So again we have created a software serial object so that we can communicate with the RS485 to TTL converter and initiated or used the begin method with the proper settings or configuration as similar as your Schneider meters. Then uh, for in this example we have only tried out to read one particular register and that register had a uh, address of 3926 which was corresponding to the voltage values line to neutral voltage values and the first argument that we passed is the slave id second one is the register address and third one is the uh, variable or to which the re register values are read or saved into and the 2 is basically the number of bytes that we want to read from the uh, Schneider meter. So these details that is the register number and the number of bytes that you need to read is actually taken from the data sheet of the Schneider meter. Then once you uh, read from that particular meter this val register is basically an array so it will have two values on the index 0 and index 1 but the value that we want is the voltage so you'll have to convert club these two <coughs> voltage values or sorry uh, array values into one float so that for that i have used this function int float and once i have got the final voltage i am basically printing out it here if i open the serial terminal you can see i am getting two registers value register values and this so I'm getting two register values. I am combining them to get the voltage values. So if we want to read any other parameter from the Schneider meter, you will have to change the register address. So you'll have to uh, go check the data sheet for that particular one. And also you have to make sure the slave ID is same as the one that you have configured 